Hello students, welcome back to Rosie Maths class. Today we will be discussing 1.4 relations among number sequences. So in this subtopic, we are going to relate the different sequences, how the sequences are related. The first one which is given is the relation between odd numbers, adding up odd numbers and square numbers. As you can see here, 1 is an odd number, right? On the left hand side, I have got all the odd numbers. And the right hand side, I've got all the square numbers. Now we'll see how the numbers are related. 1 is equal to 1. The first two odd numbers, 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. And 4 is a square number because 2 squared is equal to 4. 1 plus 3 plus 5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that equals to 9. And that is a square number again, 3 squared. 1, 2, 3, 4. So without adding, I can say this is 4 squared, which is 16. You can add up and check if it is 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 odd numbers. That means the answer would be 5 squared, which is 25. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 odd numbers. So the answer would be 30. Six. So this is a pattern which is being followed and the relationship you can see by adding the odd numbers we are getting the square numbers. First we got 1, then 4, then 9, 16, 25, 36. So just count the odd numbers and square it and you will get the answer. Why does this happen? Do you think it will happen forever? The answer is that the pattern does happen forever. And we are going to partition the dots in a square grid into odd numbers of dots. So we are going to take 36 dots and we are going to partition it, split it in such a way so that we can show number 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. And that we are going to do now. So I have taken 36 dots here. This is a square paper. And I have put 36 dots and we are going to do partition of the dots in numbers like 1, 3, 5, 7. Okay, how do we do that? You can take a ruler and a pencil. So first, what you can do is you can draw a line like this. One line here and one line here. So now this is just one dot. Next we have three. You can see here also three. So we are going to show three dots. So we will draw till here and then like this. So now you see here, one, two, three, three dots, one, three. Next we have five. So same way you have to do, you just have to draw a vertical line like this and a horizontal line. One, two, three, four, five. Next, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The next odd number. Again, draw a line like this. Next, we have number nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we will draw a line again. And then last, you can draw one more line like this here to show 11 dots. So now we have done the partition 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. And when we add all these numbers, we get 36. So this is how you need to show the partition of a square grid into odd numbers. And this can go on forever. Now by drawing a similar picture, can we find out what is the sum of first 10 odd numbers? Like here it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 odd numbers. So we got 6 squared which is 36. So if there are 10 odd numbers, what would be the answer? Similarly, one more question is there. What is the sum of the first 100 odd numbers? So same way because here 6 odd numbers are there. So 6 squared. So if it is 10 odd numbers, 
it would be 10 squared. If it is 100 odd numbers, 100 squared. So we will write the answer here for this one. For first 10 odd numbers, the answer would be 10 squared, which is 10 into 10 equals to 100. What is the sum of the first 100 odd numbers? So that will be 100 squared, which is 100 into 100. And that is just multiply 1 and 1 and then count the zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 zeros. Okay. So this is the answer. You don't have to actually draw it. You can use the pattern and you can find out the answer. Another example of a relation between sequences is given between counting numbers, adding up and down and square numbers. We know the counting numbers are like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. So what is the relation between these numbers? and square numbers. See here, first counting number 1 is equal to 1. Adding up and down, that means 1 plus 2, you will go like this and then again come back. So 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4. So which is 2 squared, right? Then 1 plus 2 plus 3. So you move till 3 and then again backwards. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 is 9, which is 3 squared. So same way you will do it till 4. And then come back, you will get 16, which is 4 squared. This is 5 squared. This is 6 squared. So what is the pattern here? You have to see the center number. Which is the center number here? Now see here, this is just 1, 1 number. So that is equal to 1. Here the center number is 2. So you will take 2 squared. Okay. Here the center number is 3. You can take the center number or the biggest number here. Like 3 is the biggest one. So 3 squared. Here it is 4, the biggest number. It is going till 4 and then again we are coming down. Here it is 5, so 5 squared. Here it is 6, so this is 6 squared. How does counting numbers adding up and down is equal to the square numbers? We can use pictures to understand this. First one is 1, so I'll just take 1 dot here. Second one is 1 plus 2 plus 1. So if I take 1 plus 2. 2 like this, okay? 2 I am adding diagonally and then 1. So 1, 2, 1. Do you see a square is formed? If I join this, it is forming a square, right? Now next one is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. So 1, 2, 3, 3 dots diagonally and then backwards, 2 and 1. So 1, 2, 1. Again, you see a square pattern is formed, 3 by 3, right? Similarly, you can do for 4, you can start from here, 1, 2, 2 dots, 3 dots, 4 dots, so that is adding up and now we'll be adding down. So after 4, it's 3, so 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, and then 1. Right? So again, you see, a square is formed. So we are adding like this, diagonally. Similarly, you can do it for 25 and 36. And I hope you have understood how adding up and down gives you square numbers. So this was the introduction part of 1.4. And there are 9 questions given and figure it out that we'll be solving in the next video. Thank you.